In addition to the face-mounted or bullnose style coping for vinyl liner swimming pools, the third style of coping that you might encounter would be patio coping or deck-mounted coping. Uh, basically, this is an older style. It's You still see it around sometimes, but it's more commonly associated with older swimming pools. Uh, and essentially what it is is that there would be a wide piece of coping that would usually be about anywhere between 6 and 8 inches wide that sits right on the surface of the, the pool deck. Uh, such that you would step on that uh, that eight inch wide track of coping to jump into the swimming pool. Now that style of coping in particular is something that you just don't see in modern design but uh, on its way out is something that you'll see in the, the aftermarket, something that you're going to have to be inspecting used versions of. The real concern that you have when you're looking at this style of coping is if it's in anything other than perfect working condition, it's very unlikely that you could find replacement pieces for it. So without replacement pieces being available to you, you're looking at renovating the coping completely in order to update that or fix any major repairs that you're looking at, and usually that would necess necessitate needing a new liner as well. So with the deck-mounted coping style, that's something that you need to be very careful of. Basically with the deck-mounted coping or the patio coping, it has to look perfect. If it looks anything other than perfect, then you're not going to have a whole lot of options available to you in terms of how you're going to fix this without taking on a major renovation project. Now, with the three types of coping discussed, we can look in terms of what material is the coping made out of? And this is possibly the most important question. The two types of coping material available are ABS or, ABS or PVC, basically a plastic. Most of them, almost all of them are PVC, but ABS or PVC plastic is one option, and the better option being aluminum. So if you're inspecting a vinyl liner swimming pool coping and you're trying to determine, is this good quality? Is this something that's gonna last? Well, is it aluminum? If it's aluminum, then there's a much greater likelihood that this is a high quality coping, something that's going to last a long time, as opposed to a PVC coping, which is almost always a lower cost alternative to a better quality product in aluminum. So the concern is, is that as the coping ages, the weight of the liner in the track is going to stretch the track out and it's going to cause the liner to slip out of the track and that's what you'll see when you see a vinyl liner slipped out of the track where you need to pull it up and put it back in. A lot of times the liner just slipped out. That's something that can happen. More commonly, the coping has begun to stretch in that area. So if you're inspecting a vinyl liner swimming pool coping and you notice that the liners jumped out of the track in a whole bunch of different places, that's not a liner problem, that's a coping problem. And that means that you're probably going to need to replace the coping. If you're hoping to maybe just replace the liner and stay away from having to get into the larger coping project, that's unlikely because it looks like it's stretching out and failing. If it's PVC, this is something that's going to happen more readily than if it's aluminum. Aluminum has a much longer service life, and part of the benefit is, is if the aluminum starts to stretch and displace, you can kind of just bend it back into place, maybe tap it with a rubber mallet or bend it gently with a screwdriver is another option just to make sure that the track opening doesn't get bent so much that the liner bead just won't, simply won't retain anymore. So if that's if you're looking at the coping track and the coping track around the entire pool seems to be in good condition and is aluminum, the liner isn't falling out, these are the things that I'm looking for to determine is this a good quality coping, is this something that's going to last or is this something that's going to need service basically as soon as you buy the house that you're looking at.